hey everyone welcome back and in this video we are going to take a step further and we are going to split our data for training and testing and then we will create our model and see how it works out so let's get started in the previous video we actually imported all our libraries and then we went on to uh, creating our data and again we al already know the answer to our uh, problem the answer is 1.8 and 32 so if we get exactly this value this means we are getting a hundred percent accuracy and this we will see that whether if we can achieve that or not so we are generating the x values 0 to 50 let's let's put it 10 and then we are generating the y values so in real world example this will be given to us but in this case we are generating ourselves and then we uh, printed these out as you can see and then we created a plot out of this now in the next step we are going to first reshape this data now this reshaping is basically required uh, for the library this library sklearn it needs that uh, functionality before you can send it in so th there is not much uh, to talk about this it's just that it is something that is required i will show you what it means but let's reshape it first so we are going to reshape it to minus one and one and the same thing we are going to do uh, let me just copy that and paste and the same thing we are going to do with the y and okay that is good and let me just show you what that means so if i just copy x and i print it here and this will show the plot and there you go so earlier our x was like this so there is one bracket and then all the values are inside but now we have the x and inside that we have uh, multiple brackets and within that we have each value so this is the format that the machine learning uh, library requires so this is what we will write uh, let's remove this and the same thing happens with y so once we have done that we can go and uh, do the training so we will split our data for training and testing so the data that is used for training uh, is only used for training it's not used to evaluate or test afterwards and the, va the values or the data that is used for testing is not used in the training process so we have to split it so we are going to say that this is our x test and then we have y train and then we have y test so we will split the x into x train and x test and the y to y train and y test now the good news the good news is that we already have a function for that and uh, it comes with uh, sklearn so what we can write here is we can write here sklearn dot model uh, model selection dot train test split okay let me bring this down uh, bring this on the side so you can see further okay so then we are going to write what we want to split so we want to split the x and the y and then we want to give the testing uh, the split ratio so the test size will be 0 0.2 which is 20 percent so if we have 10 values it will use two values for testing and um, if we had 100 it will use 20 for testing and 80 for uh, training so i don't recommend going above 0 0.3 that will be too much so once we have done that we can actually print out the size of our x train so we can write here x train and then we can write dot shape because this is a numpy uh, array we can write here shape shape and that should give us the shape so let's print that out and yeah so let's print this let's close that and we have an error sklearn has no attribute model selection okay uh, so what we can do is we can write here from sklearn imports what was the name model selection and let's remove this 
and let's run it again and there we have it so now we can see that the x train the size of the x train is 8 by 1 so this means that we have 8 values so out of 10 we are getting 8 values for training so that actually fits with our equation because we have 80% for training and 20% for testing. So if we were to put it, let's say, uh, 100, then it should be 80. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. It's 80 now. Okay, so once we have done the split for the testing and training then we all we have to do is just create our model so we are going to say that model is equals to linear model uh, actually we have to import this so we are going to write here so we will write here from sklearn import linear model so this is basically the linear model and we will write here linear model and we will write dot linear regression linear regression there you go so this is basically telling it the type and then we are simply going to fit our data to this so we will write here model dot fit dot fit and then we are going to write x train and then y train so this should give us our uh, model so let's run this and see if we get any errors and we do not so it means it created the model so that is good so what we can do is we can print out the accuracy of this model so we can write here accuracy is equals to model dot score and we are give, going to give in the X test and then the Y test. So it will check if it's correct or not. And then we can simply print the value of our accuracy. Uh, accuracy. And then uh, do we want to change it? Okay, let's keep it like this for now. Or let's just multiply it by 100 because it's not going to be in percentage. So let's multiply it by 100 and let's see what happens. And let's close that and there you go. So we are getting 100% accuracy. And this is expected because we have a completely linear model. So in order to confirm this, what we can do is we can print out the coefficient and the, uh, the intercept. So let's print that out. So we will write here print and then we will write model dot coefficient there you go and this will give us the coefficient and we can write print model dot uh, intercept and this will give us the intercept so the coefficient is basically m so that should be 1.8 and the what do you call the intercept should be 32 so let's see if that is what we get so let's close this and there we have it so now you can see that we have 1.8 here and then we have 32 over here so it's exactly what we were expecting so it's a hundred percent accurate so what we can do is uh, to make it look a little bit nicer we can write here let's say f and then we can write coefficients my spellings most probably are wrong C I E N T S. I think that is correct. Hopefully, and let's write the model coefficient here, and we will close it. The same thing we will do here F, and then we will write model intercept. We will close the brackets, and over here we are going to write intercept is this. So, the reason we are writing coefficients is because. Um, it can have multiple coefficients so if you are using multiple linear regression then it will have multiple m or multiple gradients so but the uh, the intercept will only be one so that's why this is a single bracket and here we have multiple brackets so then uh, okay we can write here as well 
f dash and then we can write echo racy and then we can write bracket and then we can write this okay one more thing we can do is we can round this because uh, later on it's going to be decimal values so we are going to round it to two just to make it a little bit nicer okay i think that should be it and if we just run that and let's close this and there we have it so coefficients intercept accuracy there you go so this is our answer so now what happens if we actually introduce some noise so in the real world we will have some noise in our data so let's uh, see how we can uh, introduce noise and then we can plot the values as well so so far what we have done is we have seen the accuracy as 100% but we did not actually plot the values so uh, in the next video we are going to plot these values and we will introduce some noise and see how that affects the overall system so if you like the video give it a thumbs up and i will see you in the next video